Okay, really good news. The ISS crossband voice repeater is back, and it's back because of a new radio. Uh, in March, they sent up a new radio, and it was installed recently, and it was turned on um, earlier today about 2 a.m., let's see, 1 a.m. UTC, and I actually made some contacts on it, and here you can listen to them. This is uh, from a few hours ago. Are you out there? KE9HJ. KE9HJ, I had to down like uh, one bag hertz off. Kilo Golf 4, Alpha Kilo Victor, Fox Mike, uh, yeah, 105. Yeah, okay, doing good, John. Thanks for reporting us on, uh, on Twitter on this. I would never would have, uh, would have guessed it. Yeah. Yep, yep, thanks for the contact. Uh, KJ4 KV, November Sierra 3 Lima, Fox 20. November Sierra 3 Lima, KG4 AKV, thanks, uh, appreciate you getting on for me. Yeah, no problem. KG4 AKV, AB10C, hello John, it's Fred, New Hampshire. AB10C, hey Fred, sounding good, and Fox Mike 05, Cary, North Carolina, KG4 AKV. Thanks, and stay safe, all the best. Okay, so. This is how I found out about it. This message was posted by Rock, uh, VK2LHC, and it was posted in this Facebook group right here. And I commented, I was like, whoa, is the new radio installed? And it was. And uh, I didn't know that initially, but um, I went on Twitter and I made a comment. I said, uh, look, I just saw this most, this message on Facebook. Does anybody know anything about this? Um, actually, I didn't say that, but I said, hey, look, it was on, and it apparently has a, a new frequency. It used to have a downlink on 145.8, the normal um, voice downlink, but he told me it was, um, he told me it was uh, 70 centimeters down and two meters up, and so I went to the Eris site, and I checked the site where they, the page where they normally have that information, and that is right here and it had the the new frequencies based on what he said and i was like okay i had no idea and so i posted that here and there was a pass coming up 87 degree max elevation pass for me and i messaged um steve in s3l just to see if he would get on because i didn't know if anybody else knew about it and i wanted to have a contact if if it was actually on i didn't want to sit there and have nobody be on there and so as you can see i got on there and i also got um ke9aj he saw my tweet and he joined and I made a contact with him. And there were several other people I made contacts with, including the uh, the head of Eris, um, Frank Bauer, KA3HDO. I don't think I've ever talked to him on the radio before, so it was quite nice to talk to him over the voice repeater. I'll play the rest of that pass after um, I give a little information about what's going on here. So it's officially been um, commissioned, You, I guess you could say. Now, it was launched up to the station at March, and it took a long time to get it installed, unfortunately, but it's up there. It sounds great. The signal's really strong. I don't see any issues with it, or I, hadn't no I didn't notice any issues with it. So you can read more about it here, but basically what happened was there's this whole new system. It's not just a radio. They call it the interoperable, interoperable radio system, and that includes a custom power supply that works on the Russian segment and the US European Japanese segment and what that what that means is that those two segments have different voltages um, of the space station so like I don't remember exactly what they are but they have different voltages so you can't just take one radio and use it in both sides without this custom um, multi um, voltage input power supply and that took a long time to build, and they also had to modify the um, the Kenwood D710 GA transceiver to work uh, in the environment up there. There's a lot of stuff you have to do. You have to test, uh, make sure it doesn't um, off-gas and smell in a bad way. All the, the plastic components, for example. So it's a really big deal. It took a lot of work. If you read about it more, you can see. And they actually still need money. I've donated several times, or at least a few times. So please donate if you can. Really grateful to Eris and everybody else that's involved with making this happen. So that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of messages on Twitter about this um, since I posted and other people found out about it. Um, I think some of the, the AMSAT Eris people 
were on because they knew it was going to be on. So before I found out about it, I, I think they probably just knew because some of those are insiders basically. So a lot of comments now from people that have made contacts and even people sharing um, how to configure SAT PC32 to use the new frequencies. And it also has a um, 67 hertz up um, PL tone required to activate the uplink. And that's a constant. You have to keep that on constantly, or you should. I'm not sure if it, you know, if it triggers and stays open for a little bit, but it's not quite like um, the Fox satellites where once you turn it on, it stays on for two minutes. So keep that on all the time. Frequency is 145.99 up and 437.8 down and plus or minus Doppler. So you're not going to have to worry about Doppler as much on the uplink. You will have to worry about it um, on the downlink. Um, that's um, plus or minus 10. So when you first start listening, you want to listen at 810 and then move down um, until you get to the middle of the pass. It'll be right on frequency 800. And then towards the end of the pass, you'll go down to um, 795. Five and then 790. I actually did adjust the downlink or the uplink rather um, at the end of the pass and it seemed to help a little bit. So I, t I, I adjusted my radio five kilohertz up. So 995 and that seemed to help. I'm not sure if it's required for all radios, but it, it worked for me. Um, you might have to um, start out a little lower too at the beginning of the pass. I actually had the downlink um, off by a megahertz as you heard earlier. So I missed the first part of the pass, um, but it, I was able to get into the pat, into the satellite down to five degrees or so, a little bit lower. If you have a very clear view of the horizon, you'll probably be able to hear it all the way to the to zero degrees. So really good stuff here. Really good stuff. All right. Let's um, watch and listen to the rest of that pass. <laughs> 